welcome to the review of the Nike Mercurial Vapor 9 uh, in the FG. Uh, as promised, uh, I thought I'd get it to you and get uh, also had a, co a comparison going. Um, what should I start off with? I guess I'll start off with the visuals. Um, these are very bright. Uh, Especially this neon uh, green Nike swoosh that that really uh, shows up on the field. But um, yeah, these are, these are bright. Uh, they aren't as bright as say the here we go solar red of the eights or the mangoes or the uh, teal ones, teal ACC ones. Um, but yeah, they're not as bright as those. But these and you know, they have their fair share of spotlight on the field. Uh, yeah, so Nike named this the Fireberry colorway. Uh, you can see it, it moves from like this sort of pinkish to a, uh, a sort of purple, um, which I think actually looks kind of cool. At first I thought it looked ridiculous, but um, in person I have to say they look uh, really, really nice. Um, I know a few people were complaining about the black laces. Um, and they would have preferred, you know, this uh, sort of pinky material. But, as you probably know from most of my videos, I extremely dislike white laces because after some wear uh, on the boots, they make, they get dirty and it just gives the boots a whole um, dirty experience. Um, for instance, on the Vapor 8s, the Clash colorway, these are actually extremely clean and in great condition, but from the laces, uh, they they make the the boot look extremely dirty, uh, except for there, you know. But uh, yeah, so uh, I actually prefer the black laces. I think they look great. Uh, and if they did come with pink laces, I probably would have switched it to uh, black anyway. And as you can see on the instep, uh, it has this huge Nike. Uh, this huge Nike, um, what was it saying, logo. Um, I uh, have no preference over it, I guess. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, of course, I do prefer the big swoosh on the 8s. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it is what it is. It's fine. <laughs> Yeah, so now I thought I would do a review of the 9 while comparing the Vapor 8s, um, you know, the predecessors. Uh, I can start off with the sole plate. Um, Nike have this new uh, plastic sole plate around the Vapor 9 and a double layer fiberglass, uh, glass fiber, whatever you want to call it. Um, this... I have to say, it feels a lot, a lot more sturdier than the Vapor 8s, where it had a single, um, single layer of glass fiber, and the back um, had a uh, double layer of glass fiber. Um, also, it's, this didn't have that uh, as visual. I don't know if it's. Uh, this feels more sturdier to me. This plastic um, outlaying the the um the lining of the the sole plate uh this one it doesn't seem as sturdy it might be the same other than that the sole plate is basically the same we have these two here one here one middle one uh for you know balance i guess this one and the two in the back with like this little jagged they're not straight they're like a little jagged uh, same goes with here. This one's a little bit jagged. Um, you know, three here. And one here, two here. Just like the rest. And this little fuzzy stuff. Uh, but yeah, basically the same. Now, the biggest difference uh, lies in the upper. Uh, as we can see here, this has this small... I don't know if my camera phone is picking it up, but it is like this small golf ball dimpling. Uh, 
uh, which Nike says is for speed control. Uh, so I guess it, it has provides like a, a nice grip while dribbling. I have to say that very, very slightly, I did notice it. It's not going to affect uh, any performance. But yeah, I mean, the upper also has this the ACC, which is great. I like it. It has like this little grippy feel to it. Very slight, but you know, still great. Uh, it's nice to have. Um, yeah, that's it for the upper, for the nines. Um, compared to the eights, the eights don't have that golf ball dimpling. It's a very smooth leather-like finish, which uh, I really, really liked. Um, these aren't even mine. <laughs> these are my brother's, but uh, I got to sneak in a few uses uh, while he used his uh, Evo Speeds. But, um, yeah, I really, really like these, uh, the leather finish on the eights. I actually think that the, well, I haven't gotten too much use out of the nines yet, um, because of the, I don't know if you can see it, the snow outside, we actually just got six, six inches last week, it's basically melted down now, but you know, there's still a fair amount of snow left. Anyways, back to business. Right, so I wasn't I wasn't able to use these as much. I got probably enough to um, for them to break in, and uh, you know the flex the upper is flexible definitely, but this uh, this upper uh, I remember from the get go was very uh, flexible and giving. You can see that it, the stretch from uh, mainly my brother's foot, but I guess my foot did some of that too. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, I also feel it's much softer. This one has a, this one's soft, has a plushy feel. It's a little bit thicker, which I know m most people prefer. Uh, and most of the time I prefer, but, you know, just something on the ace that I liked. Now for the insoles. Oh, shit. Now for the insoles, um, I mean, if these were the same color, uh, these two, uh, would you be able to, distinguish between the 8 and the 9? Uh, absolutely not. They are pretty much exactly the same. Uh, very thin. Uh, very, very little padding. Um, you know, there's the 8s. But uh, just in case you didn't know, uh, this one is the 9, this one is the 8. Uh, and yeah, they're both very lightweight. Um, have this uh, the pores in it for breathability. And they're very thin. Um, you know, decent insoles. Sometimes you will find yourself sliding around in the eights. That is because the upper is more flexible. Um, but it's not significant. Um, and in the nines, it is... Uh, uh, it isn't as significant because the shoe is narrower and has a tighter fit. One thing about the last two vapors um, was the width. Um... They ran extremely narrow, and I know that people with wide, flat feet, etc., would not be able to fit in them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I can give, like, a an upward view. I mean, the width in the 9s compared to the 8s, uh, they look relatively the same, but on foot, the 9 is definitely, uh, definitely has that tighter feel. Um, I bought... Up here for comparison, the my SG3s, which I think would is a perfect fit for all feet, uh, narrow, wide, flat, all that, high arch, whatever you want to say. But yeah, and now comparing the Vapor Nines to the my SG3s, you can see that it is you know quite a difference. Uh, even in the sole plate, you can see the sole plate is very, very thin. If you have wide feet, this is not going to be good for you. If you have wide feet, I definitely um, recommend the Maeshi 3s over the, over the Vapor 9s. In terms of weight, there is absolutely no difference. I mean, if there is, it's extremely minuscule. Uh, but in weight difference between the 8 and the 9. Uh, they both weigh, I think they weigh just under 7 ounces, which is crazy light for me, at least. Um, I think 8 ounces is 
eight eight point five ounces is really light. Um, I consider the Maestro threes uh, to be a extremely lightweight boot. Um, but but yeah, uh, these weigh uh, I think six point seven ounces, but don't quote me on that. Um, which is extremely lightweight um, and honestly feels like nothing on your foot, which is a great feeling when playing. Alright, uh, I'd like to thank you for watching the review of the Vapor 9 and comparison with the Vapor 8 and uh, guest appearance from the MySG3. But uh, I did the best I can. If you have any questions, you could just leave them down below. Um, and a like would be much appreciated, as well as a subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. I have um, a few uh, boots lined up. I just got the new Tiempos uh, in the white, black colorway, um, which, because I sold the my blue ACC ones um, the other day for uh, a good amount of money. Uh, yeah, and I also have the Predator LZs coming in, uh, well, they actually came in, uh, last week, uh, in the black pop colorway, uh, Jared represent, and, uh, yeah, I think that's it, uh, I think I'll do a boot collection video, um, as soon as I sort, you know, my selling out, because I, I want to get rid of some boots, and, um, yeah, so stay tuned for that, I guess. Uh, as soon as this damn snow clears up and the fields get the nets back, which would be great. So I don't have to chase the balls, but yeah. Um, expect that soon. Alright, uh, see ya.